Hello. Hello. Uh, good evening, Bill Bailey. Um, thank you. We're living in very tense times. I, I find myself increasingly more tense and mistrustful. It's the joggers I don't trust, because they're always the ones that find the bodies, aren't they? Coincidence? I don't think so. I was in the supermarket. I was at one of the new self-service tills. You know the ones with the two extra members of staff hanging around <laughs> to deal with the slack-jawed Luddites as they pour ineffectually at the screen like a cat when a mouse comes on the TV. <laughs> and suddenly there was this terrifying voice. Unexpected item in the bagging area. <laughs> And it was me. <laughs> I was walking in my street, and um, I get recognised sometimes. People thought, some people thought I was Shakira. And, uh, <laughs> it's the hips. They don't lie. And, uh, two hoodies appeared. They're quite scary, scary, aren't they? Intimidating. One of them said, are you that bloke? And I said, only you can answer that. And his mate said, are you that bloke off the TV? And I said, yes. And he said, what are you doing walking around like normal? <laughs> like he thought I should be hovering. So I was a little bit scared, because they were outside my house. I thought I'd better change my doorbell, because uh, I wanted to deter unwanted callers. Most doorbells are quite friendly, aren't they? Well, they're quite nice. Or, you know, maybe not that one, if you've got an abduction complex. <laughs> That's actually the Pope's doorbell. <laughs> He's in the Vatican hoping someone's going to ring. Come on, come on, come on. Who the Pope? And the Pope. Who the Pope? And the Pope. <laughs> My only job I ever had, I had a job, I was very, I was briefly, I was a, a crematorium organist. And uh, it's quite an easy job. You just play one chord and change a note every now and again. In fact, actually, the reason I got fired, I never knew what quite what to play at the end of the ceremony when the curtains go back. And now we commit Edith's body to the flames. <laughs> and then I got a job in a jazz trio. Wow. The thing about playing jazz, you can play any kind of chord you like. Any old nonsense, really. People are going, yeah, nice. Uh, most of jazz sounds like a surrealist car alarm. The thing about playing in the jazz trio was I used to get bored, so... To stop myself from going insane, I would slip in music that I'd rather be playing surreptitiously. <laughs> and that, I think, would make a fantastic national anthem, wouldn't it? That'd be great. Imagine the opening ceremony of the Olympics. Out come the United Kingdom. We're the cool country. Because <laughs> I always feel sorry for those Eastern European countries at the Olympics. Because they've got rotten national anthems, aren't they? Here comes Belarus. <laughs> hey! Look at the guy at the front, stupid national anthem. Look at this flag, two bears 
fighting over a pineapple. <laughs> we don't have pineapple in Belarus. Where did they get it from? <laughs> Come to Belarus, where wild animals will steal your fruit. <laughs> Andrew Bailey, have a great night. <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, good evening, Bill Bailey. Um, <laughs> thank you. We're living in very tense times. I, I find myself increasingly more tense and mistrustful. <laughs> it's the joggers I don't trust, because they're always the ones that find the bodies, aren't they? <laughs> Coincidence? I don't think so. I was in the supermarket, I was at one of the new self-service tills. You know the ones with the two extra members of staff hanging around? <laughs> to deal with the slack-jawed Luddites as they pour ineffectually at the screen like a cat when a mouse comes on the TV. <laughs> and suddenly there was this terrifying voice, unexpected item in the bagging area! <laughs> I was walking in my street, and um, I get recognised sometimes. People thought, some of these thought I was Shakira. And, uh, <laughs> it's the hips, they don't lie. And, uh, two hoodies appeared. They're quite scary, scary, aren't they? Intimidating. One of them said, are you that bloke? And I said, only you can answer that. And his mate said, are you that bloke off the TV? And I said, yes. And he said, what are you doing walking around like normal? <laughs> like he thought I should be hovering. So I was a little bit scared, because they were outside my house. I thought I'd better change my doorbell, because uh, I wanted to deter unwanted callers. Most doorbells are quite friendly, aren't they? Oh, they're quite nice. Or, you know... Maybe not... <laughs> 